Welcome to RV Quick Tips. Quick Tips. Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gibbon Camper. So today we're here to talk about today's RV Quick Tip, which is about upgrading the seat on your toilet. If your toilet's like mine, the bowl is porcelain, but they put this cheap little plastic seat on top of it. Now, what's the pros and cons on that? I guess the pros are it's cheaper. Uh, the cons to me are is not as comfortable when you're sitting on the throne there. And you eat you a big plate of Mexican about two o'clock in the morning. Somehow you can get some blowback up in there. Don't ask me how I know that, but it, it has said, been said to be done. Anyway, now that we're past all that, woo! While we were in Pensacola in Fort Pickens, I stopped by Ace Hardware and I got a toilet seat and I thought, well, we'll try it. The one that I have is a Mayfair. I'm gonna have a link to the exact one that I have down in the description. It's only about 20 bucks. It works well. Now, when you pick out a toilet seat, you're gonna to want to get the round one. They have two different ones. They have round and they have elongated. Obviously, the toilet's round and if you get an elongated seat, it's not gonna fit correctly. So, get you a round one. And then the color that I have that seems to match pretty good is oddly enough called bone color. And like I said, that's the one that I have in the description down here. So if your Dometic tool, it's kind of a tan color. It seems to be a pretty good match in color. Now, everything's not the best on this. This seat is nice. It's comfortable. It seems to be well built. And it comes off very easily. All you got to do is pop up the two tabs in the back where the screws are. And it'll pull right off there. And you can take it and clean it if you want to. But... The problem is with the toilet. If you'll take a look at your toilet and look at it, and it has like a uh, plastic housing built into the back of the seat, then that covers up a little water breaker that's back there. I'm not exactly sure how that works in the system, but it's there. Now, under normal circumstances, you take that seat off and that housing comes with it, and you put a regular seat on there. Normal circumstances, you don't see it at all. Uh, that water breaker is going to stick up past the top of the toilet though. So if you have the seat down, the, the whole lid down, you will see it back there. But to me, it's not a big deal. It's a small aesthetic thing, especially since most of the time while you're stopped somewhere, uh, the lid on the toilet, at least ours, is up, right? So for me, that's not a big deal. For $20, I thought it was a good bargain and it was a decent upgrade. So now I have an entire nice throne. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.